Okay, I've been really enjoying the uh, output modes on the uh, Tiny SA, but I did want to point out one uh, potential um, problem that you might run into, just, just so you're aware of it. It's not really a problem, it's just there. Make sure you're aware of it, make sure it doesn't do any damage to anything that you might have. Um, so uh, it has to do with the uh, calibrator uh, output, the 30, 30 megahertz. So when you uh, connect the, the two together, uh, you can go into the uh, mode and you can turn on the, the 30 hertz, uh, 30 megahertz oscillator. And uh, so that's, that's, all, that's all good. Um, uh, there's uh, one problem uh, that you also need to know. Um, what's that? That, that was not a problem. I'll, I'll get to the problem. Um, normally you'd use these two connected. Um, if you accidentally put, put on... Um, expert config low output, uh, the low output will uh, bleed into the input even when there's nothing connected here and you'll get all of this stuff. So um, if you are going to use the, uh, the high output, uh, make, sure you, make sure you attenuate, make sure you have a 50 ohm load. Well, I guess 50 ohm load doesn't, doesn't help, does it? Uh, where's my 50 ohm load? That was the 6 dB pad. Which should have done something. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't help either. Putting a putting a load on it doesn't help. So it just it just gets in there. So be aware of that. If you have LO on, uh, just be aware that it's going to make things noisy. All right. So let's turn that off. So the real problem is going to come with uh, the thirty. Um, the Cal output. So Cal output. You have different different I ideas here, and you can turn on. Uh, uh, 30, 30 megahertz for the uh, for the cow. Okay, so now that's coming out the high connector, and so uh, if you go to, if you go to take a look at that, everything looks fine on the on the tiny SA. Uh, we can we can put a uh, we can put a connector on here. So I have it all in default mode, and we can connect up the. Uh, the 30 hertz, and it's a bunch of harmonics, okay? So a bunch of usable frequencies that you can play with and turn on modulation and stuff. So uh, really, really nice feature, okay? So everything looks great. Looks like this is your biggest signal and then it just dies down and everything, right? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this high port on a different spectrum analyzer and I'll show you what, uh, what goes on. Okay, so I have the high output now with a 30 hertz um, 30 megahertz uh, calibrator hooked up. And uh, normally uh, you wouldn't see all this stuff. This spectrum analyzer goes to 1.8 gigahertz. So let's uh, do a stop here at uh, 350 megahertz. So this is what you would see on the tiny SA. It only goes up to 300 and, uh, 350 megahertz. So everything looks fine. Uh, it jumps around a bit um, and that's because of the actual scanning uh, if you go to display, pause, sweep, it quiets down. So um, just be aware that it's going to, th these are going to bounce around up and down. The, the 30 megahertz stays pretty stable, but the harmonics kind of kind of bounce up and down. Okay, so that's what you would see on the tiny SA and everything looks fine. Um, but if we do a wide uh, scan up to 1.8 gigahertz, you see there's a whole bunch of other stuff here. So what is that other stuff? Well, now this stuff in here is the LO bleeding through the switch. So this is around uh, 440 megahertz to 800 megahertz. It's kind of bopping around in there. And then these are the harmonics from the LO, okay? So uh, all of that stuff you need to be worried about. So let me, uh, let me do a max hold on that. So these are, these are these are the things that you would see on the tiny SA, and you wouldn't know that these were there, okay? And they're very high values. Um, let's go to a, a line. So, you know, the high values here, these are reading uh, uh, minus 16, and these down here, uh, this is at minus 30, and this is at minus 35, okay? So, um, so be aware that that uh, that these uh, frequencies in here, that's the LO bleeding through, okay? And uh, so that could cause a problem. Your 30, 
your 30 megahertz is down over like at minus 25, uh, but your uh, uh, frequencies between 400 and 800 are up around uh, minus 16. Uh, so that can, that can be a real problem. And the other problem could be if you accidentally left um, LO on. So if I go to config, expert config LO output, uh, the, uh, the LO signal gets really, really high. The 30 megahertz uh, oscillator uh, out, cal output stays on, and so you wouldn't see it. Uh, the, the, all of this stuff would be hidden, and uh, so it's uh, it's at a very it's at a very high level. Um, let's see here, display line. Uh, yeah, it's at plus twenty seven. Yikes! Let's see if that's right. Amplitude. Let me turn off this line. Uh, that's just confusing for you guys. Okay, and let me take it up to let me take it up to the reference line. And reference cal is set to plus 12. Okay, so these are these are coming out at plus 12 dBm. <laughs> so a lot lot bigger than your than your minus 25 that you think your 30 megahertz is is, uh, is generating. So be aware that all of these other things are in here. Uh, like I said before, this is the uh, LO, and these are all harmonics of the LO. So these are the uh, second harmonics and the third harmonics. Uh, so yeah, be careful about that.